Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So I have this great new kit from Planners Anonymous. This is their Book Lover Weekly Kit, which I'm going to use to set up my inserts for September in my YouTube planner. So if you want to see how I do that and what's in this kit, then just keep watching. Okay, so before I get into actually decorating the little insert, I'm going to show you through the weekly kit and sort of what they look like because they're all going to look exactly the same. As in, they're all going to be the same style, not that they're going to look exactly the same. So the first page has got, so we've got some uh, boxes. These are designed to fit, I think, in your Erin Condren's, but they fit really perfectly in these inserts as well. So you've got a double box there, a single, one, two, three, four, five singles, and then another double box at the bottom. You've then got two washi strips and the days of the week with your rescheduled and your cancelled. And you've also got some washi strips here with the glasses. Just when I looked at that before, I thought that was just the just the stickers on their own, but they are definitely the glasses. And there's a little um, notch on the side here, which is really hard to see, but it is there. And that's exactly the right size for a happy planner. So if you are a happy planner person, it's marked there for you so you know exactly how long it needs to be. Uh, the next page we've got all of our numbers we've got some headers so this week next week priorities later etc we've got some more down here so to do to clean exercise goals college etc and you've got some checklists as well this one you've got some more icons you've got some of the little swatches and some more headers in case you wanted those you got some quarter boxes and some half boxes and then some appointments and some trackers as well as some hydration trackers We've got some box style uh, to-do lists and you've also got some little flaggy shaped um, headers as well. We've got some little, these are like hobo, hobo style post-it notes that you can stick in there. You've got your icons doing all your bits and pieces, so food shopping, happy mail. And then you've also got some little head ones, little, oh, little head ones. I said head because I saw the head, I don't know why. Um, you've got some little kind of funny ones there. So you've got your sweated out, napped instead, date night, those sort of things. And then you've got some really cute little kind of fun no, not functional, decorative ones. So you've got all of the succulents there. Uh, you've got some books, you've got some glasses, and you've got another strip of washi there, I think. Just having a look. Yes, yeah, so we have another strip there. So there's everything you get in the kit. Like I said, they all will be, as far as I'm aware, they're all going to be styled sort of the same. It's obviously going to have the different artwork from the different uh, kits, depending on which of the weekly kits you buy. So, pardon me. So, um, I, I wanted to show you guys how I'm going to use this kit to set up my monthly uh, YouTube insert. So this is what I use the Planners Anonymous ones for. They're perfect. I have shown you guys these in lives before, but I've never shown you sort of how I set it up. So all I've done is printed the insert out, trimmed it up, cut it out, made it perfect, and now she's ready to decorate. So I always leave, it's not 100% perfect, but it's pretty close. So the biggest thing that I have that nobody else is going to have um, is that because my YouTube week starts on a Sunday, I have to flip the days here. So this is why I'm so glad these come with days of the week. I am going to use bits and pieces from the original kit in here as well. I've got them here. Um, so I'll kind of dig into these as we're decorating away, but I'll let you know if I use anything from the other kit as well. I'm also going to grab the washi tape and use that too. So I'm just trying to decide if I'm going to use these days of the week because they're, I'm just going to, I'm just going to they're a little bit too big, I think. Yeah. And that's okay. You can always trim them down. And this is my advice with any, any kit from anywhere. People always ask if you can use do you ever see those those comments on Facebook that say, oh, does this fit a this kit? And I'm like, every kit fits everything. You just need to alter it so it does. It's not, it's not an impossibility. Let's see if the Monday. Okay, so these are the same size or they're slightly. I'm just interested. No, they are the same size. I'm going to use these ones. I just feel like, not that they're going to fit better, but I just feel like I want to use these ones instead. So I'm going to put the Sunday down first. And I'm going to deliberately put that as far over as I can. These are going to end up, actually, I'm going to alter them. So 
So I'm just going to trim off the sort of sides of these and that way they're going to be almost exactly the right size. You'll see what I mean in a sec. Definitely a tweezer job. So then when I put these down they will be the right size. I should have left that one there so that it kind of looked like it was a shelf on the end. I wonder if I still can. Let's see how tricky I can be. Yeah, I still can. And you'll never notice. Ha <laughs> ha! So I'm going to do that along the whole of this one. Obviously Saturday will be the last day and I'll leave that one on the end as well. So I'm going to go ahead and stick these ones down and I'll be right back. come out with my first little problem. This next one isn't going to fit because it's going to be too wide. So <laughs> this is where you can be really clever and this is where if, if you if you are so inclined you really can be very clever with these kits and I love it for this. So for the Wednesday, because I'm going to have these on the same line so I'm going to cut this off. I need to put the Wednesday down first because that's right at the end of the page. I'm just going to trim that. Oops. I'm trying to make these really straight so that it's in the right spot. And I'm going to cut off. Just get rid of all these little bits because they're in my way. I'm just going to cut off right there. And then I can line this up. And then we can kind of cut off a little bit on the other one and it will all fit together. Definitely a time where I'm going to need a ruler because I want this to be straight. I may not have needed to cut Wednesday but oh, yeah I did just a little. I'm just going to cut a teensy little bit there and then line that up where I cut it and you should you'll be able to tell but it won't be a a really obvious tell so I'm gonna do the same thing the whole way along so when we do Tuesday we'll sort of just line it up so we'll cut the, the shelf sides off first and then cut off the Tuesday to do is try and make it not not obvious that they have been cut so just avoiding any kind of white lines at all so this one's gonna need a bit more cut and you probably will have to do this two or three times to kind of get the exact right spot and with these ones it's always better to not cut off like to cut off not enough than to cut off too much you can always make it smaller you can never make it bigger there we go. So it's not perfect. You can definitely tell that I've made some alterations there, but it does look really cool. So I'm going to finish that off on this side and I'll be right back. fancy shelf which took a long time but I think the effect is actually really cool so I'm going to just go ahead and put down all the numbers I'm going to do that really fast because that's a really boring thing to watch uh, the numbers are all coming out of the weekly kit 
Just going to place them down in the right spot and I'll be right back. So that's what it looks like once all the numbers are in. September only has 30 days, which is why I've gone for 30. Okay, so then we're gonna run some washi along the bottom. I'm gonna grab this wide one and I'm gonna run it along the bottom and then I'm just gonna cut off all of the excess because there will be obviously some hanging off the bottom here. This is a shorter month, so I could put this at like all the way up, but I just I don't like the way it looks. I feel like it takes over the page a little bit too much. I'm just going to run that to there. I'm just going to give this a little bit of ability to be pushed right in there. And I'll get out something in a second and kind of push that in a bit further so that the crease is in the right spot. Let me grab one of my scoring tools. This has got a really blunt edge on it, so I can kind of just give this a bit of a push just to make sure it sticks right through the crease. And then we can go ahead and cut off all of the excess. I'm going to grab my Stanley knife, not Stanley, my craft knife out in a second and just trim off that edge. But I'm going to do this bit first. And I'm just being careful because I don't want to mess up my pages. This is the hard bit because it's a little tricky. It's a little tricky. Just because I'm going to do it in a second anyway. I'm just going to grab my mat up. I'm just going to grab my knife and just use my knife to do this. It's a little bit easier and I think it will give me a better edge. While I've got that out, yeah, there is just a little bit of overhang there still, but not enough for me to worry about. And then while I've got my knife out, I'm just going to put this right on that edge there and just kind of, it's almost like a scoring and then I can just grab hold of this and pull it off and it's going to be a nice, nice clean edge there. And then at the top, I'm just going to put some of this glasses washi. This is obviously the thin stuff, so I don't need to worry about um, cutting off any of the excess. So I'm just going to do that really quick. And again, just making sure I've got enough in that gap. I'm going to do the same thing with these, this and the, um, and the knife and just sort of trim off that, that bit at the end. All right. And there's my monthly page all set up or at least looking half pretty I'm gonna grab this little one here that says inspire this is again out of the weekly kit and I'm also gonna grab there was a little kind of splodgy and grab this pink splodgy I'm gonna put that at the top here so it sort of sits next to the glasses just making sure it's straight or mildly straight I'm just gonna put the inspire on the top so what I like to do with my weekly or the monthly sort of spread is that I'll get post-it notes and they sort of sit down the side and then like when I get ideas and then I move them in and that way I can juggle where my videos go. That's just sort of my thinking with that. That inspires not straight and it's driving me nuts. So I always leave the goals section because that's not important right now. I'm only going to show you I think I'll show you just one week of setting this up so otherwise you guys are going to get a little bit bored. I do tend to go on a little bit uh, with these ones but I'm going to use everything, not everything out of, but I'm going to use this, the wide washi. So these are obviously not necessarily exactly for these kits but I want to show you that you can use them in any size. That's kind of the point. So I'm going to grab Okay, so to cover up the days, because like I said, we need to move these along. I'm going to pull in these ones from Oscar and Lou. These are some of my favourite weekday stickers, and I'm just trying to find where I put my tweezers. There they are. So I'm going to put these down on the days. So obviously just covering up the Monday with the Sunday. Not really that difficult, this bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that really fast, and I'll be right back. So 
find the whole way along there we're just a little bit short with the Friday and the Saturday but honestly it's not enough to worry about if you did really want to cover it up it really wouldn't be difficult to grab like a mini or a little um, something like a plant or something there and put it there if you wanted to I just I don't see don't feel the need so I'm not going to and we're just going to use these number ones from Barney and Moon this is just a clear one with a black font or like a black foil it's not actually a foil it is but it's it's not meant like it doesn't look like one and that's just to put the dates back in you don't need them for like I don't use the dates quite so much for the YouTube but it just kind of feels weird if I don't have dates in there so I do always put them in and then we just need to put in some things to mark out what I do on social media so I've got these little stamps here from waffle flower these are social icons ones and the only thing I'm worried about here is that these might be a bit big for these boxes so something I have noticed is that the planners anonymous inserts not change because they don't change but the um, sometimes the box sizes change a little bit as Sammy's redesigned them a couple of times they sort of have just altered a little so I just work out what fits better. Is it this month? Is it the um, the stamps, or is it the little social icons that I've got from um, Lily and Lion? And I think the social icons are going to work better this month because they're a little bit smaller. So I'll just grab them out. I love these. These are super cool. So we've got the little YouTube one. YouTube sits at the top. I've got my little um, pre-done, um, what do I call it, template here with my little boxes so that I make sure I put my check boxes in the right spot. And what I've done deliberately is I've made this the right size so that I can just do this. I can line it up against the box and they're naturally in the right spot. So it just saves me some hassle, just means I've done this a couple of thousand too many times so it all sort of helps me out so you've got Facebook Instagram no sorry YouTube Instagram and Facebook and I just leave enough room for me to write and I do that for Sunday Monday Wednesday and Friday and then Tuesday Thursday Saturday just has Instagram and Facebook so I'm gonna go ahead really fast and write all that in and then we can get to doing some decorating Okay, so there is everything all in. This is the fun part. Then you get to actually decorate stuff, which is the part I like the best. I know it's taken a long time to get us to this point, but we're there now. So because I do have all these gorgeous boxes, I want to use a couple of them if I can. So I want to use some of the succulents. So I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to put it up in this box. I love this. I'm just putting that right in the box if I can. Oh, love the succulents. And then I'm gonna put this washi, this washi on the bottom. And then just because it's not quite finished on the end, I'm just gonna put this pile of books. I don't actually think you'll notice. You will, but not much. In fact, if I'm really tricky, really, really tricky. Got all these bits left over from when I was cutting off all the edges of our days of the week. I'm just seeing if maybe one of them fit. I don't think it will. I think they're all too dark. Yeah, and I think it looks silly. Whenever I think something looks silly, I just don't worry about it then. And then on this side, this side I actually think I'll get some of the actual washi. And I'm gonna go all the way along, even though, even though I've actually got room on the end there to write, I'm still gonna go all the way along. And then just cut off the excess. Now it's a little hard to do in that corner, so I just sort of fold it over and leave it there. That way it's a little bit of a cover for the corner there. Okay. Um, along the top, I think, what do I want to use along the top? I think that washi's too wide. Something I do love doing with these stamps. I love getting I love getting the stamps out and kind of repeating the patterns all the way along. Just don't 
that one would be really good to go along the bottom of another one because it looks just like this kind of pattern. I don't want to do the glasses because I did the glasses on on that one. So what I'm going to do is grab. <laughs> I'm going to grab a bunch of these succulent ones and just kind of run them not along the top but just sort of patterned out along the top. So these ones are out of the weekly kit but I'm going to grab some out of the regular kit as well because I know I've got some. I'm going to grab this double box. I don't want to use up all the room because I do like using these boxes as places to put ideas, places to just jot down. If one of you guys has asked a question or something like that, I'll put it in this box so that I actually look at it and remember to answer it or remember to put it in my live or something similar to that. I'm just trying to put this in without leaving any white space around the, around the lines. And then I'm going to grab one of the sticker pages from the original kit has um, some quotes. I'm going to grab this one here that just says the book was better. Just put that there. And then just grabbing this little leaf. And put that here. Just to make it look like it's not quite so empty. And then I've still got this little bit here for my notes if I do need to put any in there. Do I have something here that says notes? I don't think I do. I've got this one here that says to do. So I'm going to put that just over here. And that's sort of how I set the weeks up. They're not particularly complicated and you can go as crazy as you like. What I was saying before, without kind of skipping along to the next page, but what I can do and what I do do all the time is I kind of repeat the stamp pattern. So I'll grab out this stamp here. Oops. So this stamp here has actually got a really nice kind of um, repeating pattern with the book. So I'm just going to skip a couple so that I don't end up with the same kind of, oops fold very nicely. Here we go. Um, so it's got this really nice repeating pattern with the, the bookshelf. So what I'm going to do is just show you guys how I stamp that out. So let's grab one of my blocks. I'm going to do it in black, but I'm a little scared about doing it in black. I'm just going to try and see what it looks like in the, in the sepia instead. As always, I've got some cardboard hanging around you know we'll do it in the sepia that's much nicer so the only thing I will do really quickly is just put down because I only want to go to here I don't want to go over any of my dots so I'm just going to put a little bit of washi just to protect that line just grabbing the score tool just to give that a bit more of there we go so for this particular one, I'm just going to put that there. I'm just going to grab a little bit of extra washi just to hold this still because it just seems to be moving around a little bit much for my liking. There we go. So, this is why I love acrylic blocks because they make it really easy. And I can just repeat the pattern. The whole way along. It's kind of your own stamped washi. And then up to you whether you want to repeat the stamp over the the middle. Sometimes it'll do that, which is what I kind of half expected it to do there. So I'm just gonna try. Um, just grabbing a baby wipe. So I can see exactly where the ink hasn't transferred over. So I'm going to see if I can kind of get it to. Eh, that's not too bad. And then the reason we put the washi at the end was so that I can do this. So I'm just going to wipe off everything off the end but the washi will still use, sort of protect that last little bit. There we go. 
that actually looks really super cool especially when you've got the green of the week so I'll just put that together the same way I put everything else together so what I'm actually gonna do really fast or I'm gonna go ahead this is gonna take me like another hour not quite um, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish decorating the whole book and then I can show you at the end and you guys can sort of see what I've done with all of it so I will be back in a sec all right so that took about 40 minutes just to give you an idea of how long all this decorating took I'm just gonna give you a quick flip through so I can show you and I'll tell you where I got all of the stickers and bits and pieces from um, I just put September on the front. That's just a vinyl sticker I've actually cut with my Cricut. So that's a that's an Ashley made. Um, nothing on the front. I never leave it. I always love the artwork here, so I don't touch it. I like to leave it as it is. We obviously saw that one already when I was putting it together. The goals one ends up being my, uh, my trackers. So I'll put Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and you'll sort of have the, the trackers. It'll either be there or at the back. We saw this one. Um, went a little bit nuts with some of the succulents, some of the books, but I just, I love the way that all came together. This one kind of, each page kind of has a theme, so this is a bit of a book theme. So the book was, uh, books are key to other worlds, got all the keys on the bottom. And then just a bit of decoration with the glasses and the really cool little, and I still don't know what those things are called. Uh, this one is a bit of a succulent one, so I grabbed some of the papers and put that along the top and then some stickers. I love those hanging ones, they just make me really, really happy. Obviously, you've got the spread there. The magic can be found in the page between the pages of a book. This one's a bit of that book one, so I've got a desk there. That's those stamps that we saw, and then I just stuck down one of the die cuts. And then this last one, because there's only two days left. Oops, I've forgotten. Whoops, I'll do these while I'm talking to you. Um, because there's only two days left, I kind of went a bit crazy decorating the rest of it. Oh, this tweezers go. Um, but I like... So I covered that up with the washi from the weekly kit. This one then I just covered up the, the Tuesday or in this case I think it was um, Wednesday for that one. Um, they're not None of them are really hard to do, it's just more of a you've got to give it the time to do it and setting these up does take a while, I'm happy to admit that, but I just find them so useful and to give you a bit of a look, like if I go back to, this is June, so Again, didn't touch anything there. You've just got all of the, the decoration there. I'll do this a little bit later. I'll grab hold of one of the um, one of the die cuts from the kit, laminate it, and then put a paper clip on the back so that it's got a paper clip. And it's just it's very, very simple. There's nothing too much there, but you just see I get the notes on there. Decorate that with some of the bubbles. Make a bookmark there, which I'll probably do as well. That one I was actually a a couple of days short so I just sort of stuck them together because I didn't need that whole week um, and then I have my trackers at the end and then some ideas decoration ideas etc etc it's pretty simple it's pretty simple overall these back ones I'll get you will get used for something as the week kind of the month kind of goes along but that is how I set up my YouTube inserts I love using the planners anonymous ones for these I honestly didn't ever think I'd fall in love with the Lux inserts, but there's something about them that, cause you get to create, well, not create them yourself, but you make them yourself. And it's just, you you have so much creative, creative freedom, I think is the right word, to make these as complicated or as simple as you like. So I highly recommend checking out these Lux inserts if you haven't already. So the Lux inserts are available for any kit that you have been a subscriber of, and they are $8 each. They are downloadable. You can keep them for yourself forever and ever, ever which I think is the fun part. If you wanted to do a whole TN full of just book lover inserts, you really could. I know Denise does that, so that's really cool. Uh, they are only available for ones you've been subscribed to though. So if you're only just jumping on board with Planner Babe, you only have access to Planner Babe. Um, and if you've obviously been gone back further, you'd have access to the other ones. So that's it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to be subscribed. I have got a lot of Planners Anonymous videos coming up in the next few weeks, so make sure you are subscribed if you are interested in those. Hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic rest of your week, and I will see you again in my next video. Sending lots of huggles. Bye.